all. Making this video, guys. I'm I'm uh, on Instagram and and I put little minute clips on there, and I think the people kind of get a little bit mixed up or lost in in some of the things I do, right? Um, so to make a long story long, um, first of all, this here, um, every good trainer has, whether you want to word it in this day and age as a whip or a stick and a string, this is going to help um, the fourth phase, right? So I, I've heard some gal on Instagram said, what's he doing when I had this horse and I was walking backwards? And then the horse, see how the horse right there is not wanting to come ahead? I can use this stick and string, put it behind the drive zone and pull and get this horse to come. If I want to get him, and first and foremost, I have to get him used to this right here. So if I go chasing him like this, and he's had, and he gets backing up like this, pretty soon I'm running all over the arena to try and catch up to him, to desensitize him to this, right? So I'm gonna walk backwards like this to get him used to my stick and string, right? So I can use it, not use it, uh, use this to get to phase four sometimes. And phase four would be just like this little horse. When I want him to step around, I might have to touch him, touch him, right? Get that shoulder over. Pretty good. Get your butt out of the way. Now, if you just want to ride across the prairie and cross the rivers and that, then you probably don't need this program. This is for competitors. This is to take horses that come from their mamas and they got quite a bit of oomph to them. And we need to control that energy and get it going in the right direction. This is called competitive horsemanship. We're trying to compete off these horses at a world level. All right? Good. Horse is long, uh, far along, right? And you're starting out with the friendly game as usual, right? Different day, different place. Job. So this is friendly motion with the stick and string. Okay. Okay, let's see you walk or walk backwards and do the and do the uh, uh, friendly game, friendly motion with your stick and string. Again, for some of you people that seen me using Walker's horse a couple weeks ago on Instagram, going back and forth, and the horse is switching directions. Remember, like if you were to stand still and do this, the horse might start backing up. And pretty soon I'm running all over the arena trying to get them desensitized to my stick and string and um, I'm wore out to where if you walk backwards not only do you get them desensitized to your stick and string but you also get them light on that shank you just seen Walker pull on that shank and that might be able to transfer into a feel that he feels your body up in the saddle when you pull on a rein that you got a nice feel going there. See how he can see that horse is gonna swap directions? So he just swaps hands. So the horse doesn't run by him, right? This horse is doing lots better than before. So now, Walker, pick it up faster. Closer and faster and... This looks awesome. Looks awesome, bud. Good job. So Walker's game number, 
um, too, which is steady pressure. He's trying to get um, lateral flexion here. So when he gets up in the saddle, right? And good, very good, very good. So the deal is there. If your horse moves, you're, you're, you can always use the saying, you're doing too much too fast. Hang in there, a little more, let's see what we get, and good, there, good job, good job. Give me one more hind quarter because I love that indirect rein that you're using. I want people to see how her pinky goes up in the air, see, and that, that moves them hind quarters around there. One more time, watch that pinky, folks, how it goes up over the saddle horn. There you go, good. There you go. Tap that nose. Get out in front. It's kind of a combination. There you go. Get him to step that foot over. Good. Very good. Yo-yo game. This guy's doing such a great job. I want y'all to see. Stick that finger right out there. Get that. Yes. Good job. Let him hang out for a bit. Give him a reason to go back. It's because horses live for to be lazy. Now I'll bring him in. Big long strokes. There you go. Good job. Awesome. Got two eyes. That's how you catch a horse. Get their ass out of the way so you can catch their head. Alright. Bring back in the circling game. Come on. Bring him. Very good. Pretty good. Tap it. Harder. Let that shank slide. There you go. Yep. Yep. Might have to open a gate going sideways someday, right? Come on. Come on. There you go. Let the shank slide. Let him get away from you. There you go. Good job. Good. Now go pet him. With your stick. Good job. Squeeze game. Hang in there. Just send them. Pretty good. Just remember when you squeeze him, keep your belly button to the fence till he and let him go around till he gets to that right shoulder. And then turn and get his hips so you're on a good angle. Very good. Walker's getting pretty smart here. I don't even get to tell him what to do. and He's going to get this horse flexing. Okay. Your stick was in the wrong spot, you goofball. go tap them hind quarters look at them tap them there you go okay now the four quarters take the stick out tap them shoulders get that shoulder stick get that stick out use it on the shoulder direct rain supporting rain with your stick there you go there you go Better. Okay, good. Tap it. Tap it. Good. good. Job. For the people wondering about rhythmic pressure, he's using rhythmic pressure with a stick up on the back now. Now uh, let's creep over here to the fence and go sideways with that. You do that. 
give a direct rein and look, focus where you want to go. No, you're going to run out of fence that way. Go the other way. Look where you want to go. Yep. Look where you want to go. Focus. You're doing great. Hang in there. Yep. Look where you want to go. Focus. Yep. Good job. Good job. Focus. Yep. Come on, tap them. Yep. There you go. Good job. Okay. Okay, give me your rain positions. Give me a direct support, but don't do it. Just mock it. Direct. That's an indirect. There's a direct support. Okay, and give me an indirect. And don't, yeah, just give me an indirect. Okay, there. So that would be probably over there, farthest away from the circle. When he's leaning on the barn, you're going to have to do the indirect, right? And then when he's over here on this side of the circle, direct support through the middle, right? And then give me a neutral rein. Both hands. Yes. Okay, good. All right, head out. First, do your little circles. Get them, get them starting to get soft in the ribs. Don't lean. Just roll them first. Okay, keep going and start just kind of walking your walk in the circle and stop once in a while and get them soft. Push on that saddle horn, get your butt down in that saddle, walk them around your leg, get them soft. You gotta go more than that, buddy, because you're not really getting them soft. You're just doing it because I'm saying to do it. Get them soft. Feel some softness in there. Use that rowel and get them going all the way around there. Only turn your toe out. Use your right phases. Okay, use the, use the correct phases now. Shape them with an inside rein and just use your spur to don't, don't let them come in the middle. Get them soft. There you go. A little bit soft. Let it go. Come on. Good. Now let it go and rub. Do it again. Let it go and rub. Good, good, very good. All right, start trotting off here. Hands in neutral, he's doing fine. Leave him alone. Let them be. Let them make the mistake. You're doing awesome. Awesome. That's exactly how you do that. Hands in neutral now. Let them make them. Getting ready to go the other way. He's getting it all set up here. All inside foot, bud. There you go. Forget, folks, we're softening one rain at a time. And about two weeks into my cold start, then I'm starting to pull on two rains for when they start uh, leaking out of my circle. I can just get their body, get their butt shoved into their face, stand everything up in the middle, and then nothing's leaking anywhere because of vertical flexion. And that all comes from your lateral lunging on the ground first, one rain at a time. That's what your groundwork is, it's lateral lunging. Then we get up on here and see he's got one rein. He's softening this horse. 
walking them around. You've seen them do the other side. And then here, like I said, in about 20 rides, 15, you can start pulling on two reins. When he starts leaking and shove his butt up into his face and nothing leaks because it's just like turning a hose on, putting your, end on the, your hand on the end of the hose, everything in the middle stands up. You just collect them up and then they will have a little bit of vertical flexion which is really what this is all about is getting our horse to where we can start pulling on their jaw and getting them soft. Wrong lead. You were in the right lead. You were doing fine that time you goof. Come on. You're good. Don't lean. Keep them moving. Hands in neutral. Come on, you're either going to pull them through the middle or leave them be. Okay, I want you to soften an inside rein. Pull on one rein. Come on. Don't let them come into the middle because your foot's going to keep them from coming in the middle. Come on, pull on that rein. Soften them. And let it go and rub. Do it again. Pull on that rein. Soften that side of his face. Come on. Pull. Come on. Pull. And let it go and rub. Let it go and rub. Okay, canter. Come on. Keep him going. Do not let him change gait. Pull on the inside rein, soften. Come on, keep them going when you do that. That's your job to keep them going. Soften that rein. Come on, pull on that rein, pull it up to your shoulder. There you go, let go and rub. Okay, do it again for me. Pull it up to that shoulder, armpit. Pull that rein up to your armpit. Come on, quit jerking around there, pull it up there. Hang in there until you get it soft. Quit letting go until you get them soft. Come on. Good. Now let it go and rub. You're doing great. One more time. Show me how you can pull that up to your armpit. Soften that side of his mouth. Hang in there. Hang in there until it gets a little soft. How does it feel? Reach down farther then if you have to. Good. Let it go and rub. Good. Do you feel that? Okay. When you pull on that rein one more time, keep your pelvis pushing. Keep your chest out. Pull on that rein. Good. And let it go. Awesome. Good job. You're good. Hands in neutral and say the W word over here. Come on. Keep them going. Don't let them break gate. Keep your focus up. Keep your chest out. Okay. W. There you go. Learn today, Walker. Um, push with my belly button and drive. Let him make mistakes and then fix them. Don't fix them. Don't lean and be fixing them because you, yeah. So let him make the mistake. And then that drive thing, like focus where you want to go and pick your pelvis up and your chest up and look and drive. When you pull on a rein, a horse is going to slow down. So you got to be driving your body to keep it from breaking gait, right? Okay. Different ways to use the yo-yo game. Getting okay. back from me. I forgot about playing. Getting them out of your space. Get them out of my space before I send them anywhere. Right. And then just they do it make them uncomfortable to do the wrong thing and comfortable to do the right thing. So make the the right thing easy and the wrong thing difficult. It's an old Ray Hunt saying that when we were reading his books we were like, What? And now you've experienced it, right? Good.